nuke and stone. Like, yeah. They have to like crap on lanes right now, or they're gonna lose this game. So I, I feel like they need something that's really early game aggressive in the mid lane. He roamed with the witch doctor, but it's not gonna be as effective as the heroes that I mentioned. So I kind of expect like the storm to get away with his early game, and he's one of those heroes that if you get a good early game, you can get a lot done in the lane. Uh, meanwhile, top lane Pasha, be in a bit of trouble here. He does have. Napalm stacks up on oh, Kaka, but close. it's simply not enough damage. He, he was getting like the life drain from the open wounds with the, the Thunder Strike. I mean, extremely well against the Storm, who used to be known as like the, one of the anti melee specialist mids, but oh, DK, doesn't seem to be affecting no one at all. DK is pretty good against most heroes after the buff to his uh, Fire Breath bottom lane. Going on to Kaka again with the Gemini attack. Plus Can the they get the kill though? He's going to turn this one, dropping. The Thunderdome, but is there going to be follow-up? Lil will fall and trade for Kaka. Now the chase on the Faith solo. Ramsey's trying to work him down. One more Frost Arrow with the last auto attack from Witch Ooh. Doctor. We'll get the kill. Ramsey's is going to live. There's the heal. They bait in KP a little bit too far. Two for one. Lucky it wasn't three. And VP pulling that one back. That was like good play once again by them. And mid lane. Moving in, looking for the pickoff here on S Triple C. They will bring the storm down right before he hits level six. Faith with the rotation, but a bit too late to the party and down on the Elder Dragon form, I believe. Uh, but in any case, working on the tower mid, so some pressure there. No real sign of rotation, but bottom lane back to solo, caught out by KP. Not level six just yet. They do have access to the kinetic field. Can they get in range? They will find the opening, but Lil's arrived. He walks right into a stun. Still going to be able to find that counter kill and chase forward onto the Undying, looking for the Disruptor as well. So far, one for one. Lil waiting for the cooldown. It's pretty long at level 2. And Sakuji going to dive for Kaka, preemptively dropping the Kinetic Field. But Lil just moves right around it, baiting, baiting. No swarm available, but the double auto attack, courtesy of Geminate, gets Lil the kill. Will he make it out? Now has stick charges and should be able to Sakuchi away. KP has gotten pretty good level progression in the off lane, but they, again, they committed three heroes to that lane, so... They have level 6 on the Nyx and the last Swing around here, looking for Ramses. They glimpse him on back. Good swipe on the glimpse, and now the follow-up comes through. KP with the stun. Easy pick. Well, the glimpse range might not be that long, but when you come from behind, good way to set it up. And that was like one of the best kills they could have gotten with that smoke play there. Like, very well done by Newbie. Oh, KP under Vendetta. Just... He moves in and he's... Down. Oh, Lil, Lil it, in the trees. Can they kill him off though? They don't have access to Static Storm, but they don't need it. Newbie just smack him down. Good combo of stuns and all set up by the Vendetta. So that you want to give away SVP. I mean, if, if Newbie got a call kill, it would be really bad for VP after losing the draw left. I, I hear a glimpse onto Pasha here, getting caught in the field. Good. Great. By Newbie, will there be any sort of Carapace? support for Pasha? He's pretty far under the tower, but three heroes already diving him. A fourth on the way. They are going to begin to TP in. For now, the Weaver solo joining as well, trying to bring down the tombs. Pasha low, but not dead yet, and now they can look for the turn. No one in two. Suddenly, four heroes to the spot lane, but it's five for the side of Newbie. Pack and eat. They fall in with the storm, instantly stunned. They control for the timing. Mean, they lasso the life to it, but he's in rage. He's not going to try quickly. Faith, however, will fall, and now solo getting mauled down by the life stealer and his vehicle. S Triple C, will he make it out? There's a dragon tail available. Oh, Locks stun. him in place, gets the kill. Four heroes dead. Do you want to come on our turn? VP say, and we're gonna make you pay. So that was 10 heroes there at the bottom lane. <laughs> he will be they expecting this. Level six. Yeah, it's like VP is probably like, oh, they're not gonna come. But it is a long journey for newbie. A lot of time for VP to get wise to it. KP, the man out in front, Sentry up on the high ground. So I say, not Wait. sure if they'll be ready, but they appear like they are. Lil's there in the trees. Sentry gets popped by the other side, and all of a sudden, all hell breaks loose. Trowel silence coming out, but at the same time, trapped within that static storm, at least for the moment, it's solo. He's gonna go down. S Triple C falls in deep with the help of U9, can bring down. Ramsey's decapitated the Drow Ranger, but Lil's looking to clean up U9. He will find the kill, isolating, finishing off the life steal. Now the turn, Faith to fall, and now Newbie on the run out of mana on the storm. Kaka being scouted by the swarm. Pasha wants the chase. Can he get in range? Has a flame break in five, but no blank dagger. Still with the napalm and the movement speed of Lil. They're going to start diving here straight towards tier three towers. Here's are going to be respawning relatively soon. The stun for the nade comes Lil. out. Only hits the Dragonite, but Lil with the play. Oh, dives deep for that Disruptor, gets him to Kaka down, and Lil just waltzes away. You you understand that when Newbie can't really fight you, they're going to use the Storm to speed push, and you know he's going to be alone, trying to farm and push out the lanes with the Shadow Blade, allowed to pick the uh -oh. Storm. Lil on his own, not really. Here comes, will scout. Here comes the Batman. And Dragonite jumping in, meanwhile the lasso is there, it's in the middle of four heroes, KP with the stun, it's going to whiff, but the Carapace at least... 
Mega Pasha still though, the flame break pushing Kaka in the middle of the fight. No one stands strong for now, but he is trapped out, put down in the end by the Static Storm and the full newbie gang just wailing away at him. As Triple now balling forward to find Pasha as well, making a two for one thus far. But again, it's the Weaver with the help of the Drawar that's going to turn the fight. VP machine gutting heroes down, KP limping back as Triple C almost out of mana. The tombstone will fall. They oh, go for the stun, but Lil, he got off the stick. I think he's going to easily lift through this with the help of the Witch Doctor heal, even threatening to chase forward for more. And KP. Be there once again with a really really good fight there despite being so far behind they got they got so much damage done to the dk they were able to kill him off uh, like you said the weaver the support weaver the the fourth call he's just doing so much damage in the team fights hey solo how you doing buddy goes for the stun but solo so tanky they're gonna need help here from kaka to get this kill oh, he comes comes back rushing up. back in he might get a double kill out of this the swarm connects on both gonna bring down kp and now immediately onto kaka oh actually God, gonna kill just him? chasing forward even through the glimpse continues pursuit the napalms there the damage keeps racking up i was gonna oh, ask you gosh. winter how's he gonna farm an eggs as a support well here we have the answer you know he's just gonna rack up the kills Mm, let's see, they do not have any vision on the enemy jungle. Like, usually when you're making this kind of place, it's either your smoke or you have deep wards placed down, so it's easy for you to gauge where is the enemy, but they're gonna find Solo. Oh, they find the Solo, enemy. planting the sentry, but they do just kill him in time. Close call there. The cast, though, bouncing, and KP now being silenced. Uh, can Ramsey's focus him down? Batrider coming in hot. Does have the lasso already. KP gets off the carapace for now, and comboed with the glimpse might be enough to save him, but Ramsey's still just limping forward after him, trying to get in range. But TP from the safety of the high ground will do so. But meanwhile, lasso up on Unai, the bigger target, perhaps, that life stealer in a lot of danger. No one just rushing forward right past him with Lil on the back lines. He's already picked up the mithril hammer. He might be going damage. straight into a desolator. Forget about the eggs. I'm the carry now. Look at me, says Lil. 22 to 13 and straight onto the Roche. The pings go out. Be looking for a hopeful infest gank, but it starts to really become a problem here for that life stealer. He's just spent so much time infested behind the enemy he, weaver. He has no support. choice, though. He has no choice. He has to make space because Storm is far behind. They're gonna got, come in with the bad rider. He's looking for indication. Newbie now trying to back out frantically. They do get up the carapace on Pasha. Quick burst on the bad rider, but the trade is the undying also brought out of the fight oh, immediately. Storm. And now as Triple C muscle down, good dragon tail into a quick kill, and then Lil before they can even TP out oh, anymore. Stun. Oh, that's no close. One just half a did second. Did have the stun ready, but the rage still barely active. Oh my god! How Here many comes buy the high ground push. How many buybacks do they have to defend this? They have uh, a not enough. Storm. They do have three. Steal and Nyx, three buybacks. But the problem is, Winter, there's a BKB on no one. He's got 2,300 health, 29 armor, they need, and they have an Aegis on the draft. They need a on KP. They're gonna try to go on no one, but he's already gone in first. He plum jumps in with the Blade Dagger, the BKB active as well, and goes to work the Golden Dragon, working down the Tombstone, not turning back for KP, will kill off the Nyx almost as well. Just barely able to survive. No, he will fall to a second Dragon Tail, a second kill, instant buyback. Newbie on their last legs here in game number one of this series as VP lay down the pain. They buy back. They don't even go in. They'll forfeit the racks, they'll forfeit more gold. I don't th I don't think it's even gonna get that far. Maybe with these buildings Give going down. Give me the last hit, the tower. Come on. Um, all right, Winter. <laughs> we, I get it, you have a rooting interest in VP, but try to keep it in your pants just a little bit more. And it's quite good, and of course Weaver has a lot of mobility with Sakuchi in time lapse, so. We'll have to see. VP begin their siege now, though. Already have access to the Frost Dragon, and okay. they go to work on this building. Stormness. Stumped in and kill the Weaver somehow. Good position by Lil though. He sits very far back. He can get off the time lapse here. He will do it now. No one with the BKB active goes to work in Frost Dragon form. Daddy's angry and Dragon Easy. will make them behold his wrath. Brings down Kaka as well. Four fall. They melt. VP take game one. Then you got Ogre as well. It's a good yeah. lineup from Newbie. I think the one thing really hurting Vers Virtus Pro now is that Dropter pick. It feels very out of place to mm. me. And OD. OD. I'm just going to commit forget. to the Drow thing. Just win them the early game so hard. Whereas Disruptor kills himself in the creeps again. It's his second death to the neutrals. Man, this is just thing out of hand for VP. Oh, yeah. 9 in danger now. He does blink away. Pasha. Bottom lane. We consider chip but simultaneously in the bottom lane. Ramsey's caught out. There's the call from KB. They desperately need something as far as the kill goes. The glimpse not particularly effective. Solo yeah, attempting to save him. Will Ramsey's oh, get the neutral to 9? No, oh, the first blood. Oh. oh, they needed it. They needed it bad. It goes huge. to Kaka. 
Gonna so, bring the PA down, not scouted. So maybe this is a way uh, to get that's that. A, that's a ward there. They saw him. Oh, they do have a ward. Uh, they, unless they, they weren't. Stand up yeah, it. unless they weren't looking at, uh, on the on the map because it doesn't show in the mini map. Now they're gonna make their jump onto Ramsey's glimpse back onto U9, keeping him out of position, but the call's there to follow up. Where are the spins for KP? Not too Sankey. lucky. Two, then three. He gets them all in a rush and brings him down. Now the Burrow strikes a to turn. Pasha, though, does not have mana for the episode. Could Mango, if need be, not choosing to. Newbie surviving through this fight, diving in a deeper, looking for solo as well, but Cox dangerously low again. The kinetic field getting dropped. A triple kill for U9. Even when they glimpse him out, he comes rushing back in. Pasha trying to find the kill here with the Sandstorm. It's not going to happen. The Wyvern of Kaka lives, and now they look for the turn. Quick crit, follow up. Won't quite be there, but then the Wyvern blast. Almost pretty Pasha down. Unai doesn't have mana for a dagger. He's oh, gonna get Epi. burrowed. Epi available. Gonna go in with the balls. A little more damage could get the kill. Oh, not quite enough. Look, he might make it away. No, they went the evasion. Not enough. Even with the the poor man shield as well. They still match to bring him oh, down. And now pick. KP coming back in. Little do you know that suddenly Ramses has arrived on the draw ranger. They don't have a ward. He's gonna call just for the extra armor. And still they muscle him down. VP finding kill after kill here to turn back around oh, just glimpse. when it started to look very bleak. Oh, can you get the glimpse? Oh, not gonna be Only able. level 2. Power is held for now. Oh. No relocate available what? yet to chase. A stun from the Sand King. He not only stunned the DK after the imprisonment, but he stunned the PA when he blinked in on solo, seeing the Disruptor's life. Oh my god, what a player. But they did commit the Static Storm, and Newbie wants to try and punish this Epicenter at the ready, if you can find that. But he burrows through, but at the same time, Udan's already out of there. Now they might lose the Sand King, too. Already Disruptor down. Looking for a second, the Dagger comes through. Follow-up damage is there. Make it two, and while Ramsey says, I don't want any part of that. I'm just going to push this top lane. Did the Silver Age, or to deal with the, the Magical Burst, the Sanking Alti, Disruptor Alti, so I can understand the fact that he wants to get that BKB to survive. In Big the smoke fight. coming in, Solo looking to start this party off, potentially. They're looking to defend the Tier 1. Two Hero Burrow begins it, follow-ups there, Static Storm comes through, is going to catch them. DK, as well as the PA, quickly dropping the hammer, bringing him down, but the curse to counter this one. Will it be enough to secure a kill? Certainly bringing Pasha low, will finish him off, the Sand King's now down. At the same time, the Axe has fallen, so make it so far a 2 for 1 with the Aegis also getting popped, but Unai now on the chase. Life number two, daggers there, crit and a cloud of blood, down he goes as well. Io, little ball of light. Uh, you know, all the small little details. Oh, Pasha here, camped behind enemy lines, looking for initiation, they have all their ultimates back up. Thinking about making a move here onto KP. They're like, surely there's something else behind KP, the Glimmer Cape's there, the Burrow Strike and oh, a missed. whip! And all of a sudden, Pasha's the one caught out, gets stunned, gets focused, off with your head, and now the coup de grace with that Desolator. Moving forward, they find Solo on the Disruptor, chasing for additional to relocate back to safety. Ramsey's brought away, already TPing out to mid. That's going to leave the IO in a lot of trouble. No one down, and Lil, will he make it out? He will come right back into the waiting arms of S Triple C. So three, make it four. Uh, that was that was actually very very difficult for Pasha there. He he had no vision, but he knew that the Wyvern was behind. Get a pick off to slow down the the game. You know, newbie's pace of the game is just way too quick for VP to handle right now, and they're going to be able to wrap around on Ramses again. Blink again. Uh, it's Kaka initiating these fights. Does get gusted. U9 in done. position. They get the Dragonite stun. Follow up from S Triple C. You even BKB beat for this. Yeah, he was kind of expecting mashing all the buttons. Uh, run, so it's not going to be enough. They are going to be a. They're going to be hard pressed to clear out this creep wave and try to stop the push. Uh, Sanking's going to be up. Already moving in as Triple C with the big leap forward on the Dragon. I get the Dragon Tail stun on Solo while meanwhile, VP trying to split push with two, but I don't know if they're doing it quickly enough, Winter. Oh. Pasha coming in, big at the center, but doesn't have the Veil, doesn't really have the follow up of the Disruptor with the Static Storm. He's going to drop two. Bottom it's stalling lane. tactics and it's a base trade attempt that they have brought Bottom down the tier the three. Racks. They're working on the melee racks here. So far, VP, the split push working okay. They try to scramble backwards. Newbie hesitating a little bit. They look. Four oh, additional kills, they might the find them, but already the racks are down, the BKB committed. Newbie are not backing off, the hammer gets dropped, but just stalling tactics. Really, they've yet to kill a Rex here. Newbie crumbling as VP calmly muscled down, building after building one lane down, looking for a second, still yet to kill off a single critical structure here, just the outer towers, really. Finally, they send Kaka home, he's already committed the Winter's Curse. Ramses is gonna look for the punish, finds the kill, straight back to the melee Rex. All of a sudden, VP have taken two melee for nothing. They lost the gem on Kaka oh as well. Oh my god. Lil with the buyback, he's gonna secure the, the Drow's life and he's gonna secure the gem. What a play from VP. Oh my god, they got two racks. They got the gem. Oh. And it's not like they didn't have some warning it was coming. They saw the Drow Ranger in the IO hitting the tier 2. They saw them hitting the tier oh. 3. 
God. They stuck around. They thought they could take a big fight, but yeah. ahead of the a Sam very, team. very good game by Kaka here. This uh, a good performance on his Wyvern. We rarely get to see good Wyvern games nowadays. Oh, Solo gonna snipe up the courier, and he's gonna cut the creeps as disruptor. Not something you see every day, but it's working for VP. Oh no, <laughs> VP! Cheeky little tactics. They, Solo even knows he's dead, he but he's done his job. Oh, relocate, relocate. Trying to find a pick up here in KP. He gets up the call. Not gonna matter. That pure damage from no one a bit too much. And now they chase forward looking for Faith. The buyback not available on Axe. He's the one who bought back last fight. He's out for a full minute and they look to punish, but there's the Winter's Curse. Oh, well, the not gonna matter actually. No one making it out. And simultaneously Pasha trying to jump away. No, at least they'll get Pasha on the Sand King. Still the lanes are pushed out though. This is still not and, very good. And they're not be. even done with the pushing. Lil cutting the wave top. Oh, He's gonna TP home. What a play by VP the oh. last Oh my god. I can tell you. Maybe one of the best a in the world. bold statement. Yeah, one of the best carries in the world right now. A true one nonetheless. KP. Oh, a little glimpse, but he, he gets off the call anyway on the Solo. And now they might be able to pick him off. Solo, the shenanigans, increasingly they look to punish him. He's fine. Dropping the statics from stalling. The top lane being slow pushed by the Sand Cane, but they are going to lose the you Disruptor. Know, this, this, this kill is worth the it. Is this, open. this kill is worth it. They are pushing two lanes out when that's happening. Ending the base against the world. He deals with the bottom, he's now going to head towards top, and no, he will keep the structure safe for now, but they the may Roche? try and fight this Roshan. Oh, there's no gem here, they know there's no gem As Triple C is the BKB, though, he engages onto no one, chain stun, locking him down, can he finish him off, though, he's very tanky Real, for now, Real he survives. Cape. Lil there with the save, but the epicenter comes through, the BKBs were out. Pasha, it was only the last three pulses, though, that really hit, not enough damage from him, still stalling, but nobody is split pushing this time, if these heroes die, it is without big benefit, and now the stun, the clubbing, down he goes, back into the Roche, potentially, Lil. Thinking about sneaking in. No, he's just going to try and push this bottom lane, it seems. Unless there's a oh, target they, to tether to. The pings are coming out, they, but they, they know that Roche is they happening. Kaka blinking forward. There's the tether TP. The trying curse, to get away to safety. Oh, Not in range. Gosh. Be happy about that. And now, Winter, they have more BOTs and on a very important hero. U9 with the Abyssal Blade already completed. Now the BOTs. Oops. There used to be an X there. He has a sight of wise. Well, at least I can't call you. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I'm not sure what's worse. Whatever you might have said, oh, or it's gonna whatever be the worse. viewers are thinking now. Lose. But here we go. S Triple C with the BKB moving in. Lil getting caught out by the stun. They'll bring him down. Now working on Ramses. They'll finish him off too. Two oh dead just like God. that. They both have five X. There that is no relocate though, it already got committed. Dude. Yeah, it makes the Aegis, the potential cheese, that much more important for Newbie to secure. But they have not seen this yet, and VP yeah. want to have the element of surprise. They smoke, but it's already SCCC moving in oh, under broke. cover of Invis. Ramses, he broke his smoke. He goes on Viz and it's now engaging on the U9. Can he focus down his PA? They commit the static storm for him, but the Wyvern's there to save the day. The Hex a bit too late. No one jumping in, trying to finish him off. Now Kaka working on this OD, even cursing him to keep him out of the fight. U9, BKB up, but the Yules are stalling for this, and still the Dragonite standing strong. They brought down the Disruptor, the no, ILO, OD. the OD, who tried his best to prevent that save. Courtesy of Kaka was unable to do, do so, and now no one must run. Oh, is, is he Pasha though out? wants to chase for this. He burrows only one. Back in away, Kaka trying to oh, catch him and they, isolate they him. They still have the OD out. They want to fight. They want to fight here. They have the hammer. Re-engaging, but they get the multicast. They work on him slowly from the high ground. He does have a glimmer cape. Uh, Available and I'll use it again. The burrow strike countered by the Lotus Orb, so the mutually assured burrow destruction. Void as they look to re engage S Triple C. He's already back into the fight. The hammer's dropped it, eclipse S Triple C. Then he gets burrowed. Oh. OD lane in hot and heavy U9 there, but doesn't have to back up the IOs keeping this OD alive. And now Double they can turn. They can finish him off as well. Ramsey's there in support. They do a buyback at the PA. Oh, they might have the to lose. There's a burrow the there. An ultra kill for oh, no one. No, he missed the OD. Oh my god. Oh dear, they have triple buyback. Oh, they already used, what, they used two buybacks? X, it's a dieback on X. Scuddy would have been nice against, like, having the the stats against the OD ultimate, that would be nice too. Well, you can see VP making a bolder move forward towards enemy territory. Oh, here comes KP. They are missing two buybacks though, as KP goes for the blink call. And now the follow-up Dragonite initiation. Oh, oh that banish is there. They have revved up the relocate though, Lil. Unable to find anyone to save with this for oh, the time the being, and now looking for the Hex, the hammer gets dropped, it's not enough to kill KP. Faith safe for the moment under his Ghost Scepter, will survive as Triple C starting to do work. They brought down the IO, the timing not quite on point for VP this time with the Banish overriding the relocate attempt. So they use two saves, they end up losing two. 
Oh, they, they might have. They might be forced to use both. Oh, there's a smoke. Pasha able to fence away in time. He can charge with the epicenter here momentarily. This could be a good time to buy back. They, Who's going to initiate? wait for the Sand King to initiate, then buy back. Look for it, but he sits far back. Oh, Solo the there. The blank call to initiate. Now the Pearl straight forward. Good static storm. Oh, Catches out two. On to KP with the counter curse. U9 getting focused. Muscle down that PA dropping fast. Needs help. The Hex is there. Going to die. Does have buyback if needed. Two, three down. And now oh, the relocate. Vanish looking for the fourth relocate as well. And simultaneously going for the Mega Creeps potentially here. Or at least that third oh, they melee. They force the, the TPs. They force a triple buyback. They oh, will no. find Lil. It could be a dive. Back on, actually, no, he has the buyback available, so not can, the biggest can deal. Can they get Brancis, though? No, he's too uh, far. So they don't even force out a dieback, but maybe the Iowa have to buy back on this. It's only a minute, though, Winter, and they're not near the base anymore. They're going to move into bad. the pit. This is bad. Uh, I guess the OD and the Draw won't have slots for the Aegis, so it's going to be, I guess, tanking. Tanking with the Aegis. Cheese on the... Oh, well, Draw will. Pedestrian oh, Draw coming up. Has an IO, and there's the Radiant Scan. They're ready for a KP. Looking for the jump in, but there's the Hex. The Lotus up just a split second late. Oh, the rush and KP going to be caught up on a Clipper now. Forces his way down. The OD Hammer gets dropped in from the high ground. He lays in the artillery, but then he gets focused up atop the mount. He will fall, and now Ramsey's could be next. Solo, man moaning in, but Raptor down too. Oh. Aegis committed. Buyback. Double buyback. They're coming back in. They're coming back in hot and they need to get these kills because VP have thrown a lot at this fight. BKP's there. Unai duking it out. The evasion. It's strong. Is it going to be enough? The BKP's still going. No one will survive. He wins the man fight. Breaks down the PA. That's the dieback. Dragonite has a buyback but it's going to be without dragon form. How much can he do for this one? Kaka being chased out. Trying to make it away. S triple C BOT 2 in on top of him. But oh now Winter after all that Four extra lives thrown by VP at that fight. Feels like a completely neutered team. He needs to sell his items and get the refresher, I'm serious. Oh my god. Like, by the time he does that, it might already be too late. As Ramses jumps in, but it's by himself. Pro Strike comes through. The BKB, there's the good Astral. No one ready to bail out his carry. Ramses having faith in the team, and his faith returns so far as he moves on to the Ranger X. He'll bring that down. The mid lane already caved in. This is the last out of Rex Newbie. Can't believe it, but it's happening. VP finding a way in the darkness. They now have the Megas. They have. No buybacks available aside from their disruptor, but with this kind of creep advantage, newbie are going to be up against a brick wall and then some if they want to push through. This game. How did it happen? This game. <laughs> I mean, VP just outmaneuvered them. They used the uh, the relocate, like the global presence, really, really well. They're gonna commit here, but again, the Astral to counterplay it. S-Triple-C didn't have BKB. He's gonna get Static Storm. Focus down, no one! Look at the damage coming out from this OD! They have to commit the Witcher's Curse just to interrupt him for a moment. Through the BKB, they'll stall. Dragonite in danger of falling, trying to heal back up. A blink away, he limps back, but meanwhile, the structures, they can't run. VP focusing on Tier Force, and now for the main objective, onto the throne, dropping quickly. There's the Burrow on two. A little bit of objective gaming from BP, but no one also wants some additional kills during this time. Turn Turning back to save his teammate, lunging forward on S Triple C, hitting the building. The throne will drop and be pinned. Oh, grab it out of the hat. An incredible comeback here. It looked like newbie were gonna have not like the game over, but a very strong advantage. Take a lane of Rex, probably only lose an Aegis, maybe a support, and then Winter. Everything changed with that split push bottom.